On this week's episode of What's Your Fantasy Football, we're going to be talking about the 2024 Top 10 Defenses and Fantasy. Make sure you check that out right after this. Hey, look. Ruin the dreams under pressure. Peachy be the one to bless ya. But don't test her. The queen reigns supreme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Add the boy Breezy Prince like a king. When the two come together in any weather, they form a bond, stay tight in any measure. So it's my pleasure. The number one team. Let the world know what's your fantasy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to What's Your Fantasy Show. This is the number one fantasy football show. It is to us. So make sure you guys check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment. And feel free, if you're new, you're just watching this joint, to subscribe to the channel. We're your hosts. It's your boy, Wayne Breezy, Crystal Peachy B, and the place to be. And we're going to be talking about on this episode. You ready? The top 10 defenses that you want to pick up all right now listen peachy i just want to know off the top of your head i don't want to know what the top defense is or anything or the the, the, the bottom lower tier defense which defense you're staying away from actually that's a good question which defense <laughs> would you not draft in fantasy football this year oh let's see just the defense one. that think which one i would pick I would not draft would probably be oh, uh, that's a good question you know what this is gonna surprise a lot of people but I would be wary of the Bills defense this year they're missing a lot a lot of defensive pieces I, I don't like believe that. that they're going to be nearly as as good as they've been over the last couple of years. I see a down year coming for this Buffalo defense. That's who I'm going to go with. Mm, interesting. All right, so Peachy says stay away. Beware of the Bills defense, all right? And I tell you what, we'll leave it at that. Beware of the Bills defense. Speaking of defense, let's get to our top 10 defenses. We're going to start at number 10, and we are going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles defense, we don't want you to be aware of them, but they are taking a, a, a little slide down to the bottom 10, but they still made the top 10 out of 32. I think that's still good. Uh, Philly's defense, Peachy, why are you drafting them just off the top of the dome? Okay. So the reason why that I would still draft them is because they still have some really good pieces on there. Breezy is right, though. I believe they are taking a step back as their offense seems to be taking a step forward to that. I still feel like that Philly is still weak at linebacker, regardless of whatever. I still feel like that that's um, that that's still their their weakness. For some reason, they just not strong there. But Philly is still going to get you some points on defense. They're still going to get the ball. They do have some ball hawks back there in their secondary. So looking forward to this. And, and there's a lot of people that have been drafted in this Philly defense. So very excited about this one. So definitely, definitely draft Philly if you have a chance to get them. And also what goes with the defense is for those that are just playing fantasy football for the first time, uh, special teams. So special teams is included in the defense. Can their special teams create turnovers? Can their special teams get them touchdowns? All of that would get added to the defensive points. And so that's something to pay attention to uh, when you're looking to pick the defense. Uh, but we got Philly as a top 10 defense. Peachy kind of explained why. I'll go next. I'll go with Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know people are going to be like, well, how the Steelers nine? I'm hating. I'm not. I really love TJ Watt. And then I love Mika Fitzpatrick. They did pick up Patrick Queen in free agency. So they addressed their linebacking situation. And if that works, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be a problem on defense. And at the end of the day, they're nine because there are eight other defenses that are better than them that I would draft before them. Right. And so I don't know how their offense is going to fare this year with their new quarterbacks. And I don't know how long their defense is going to be on the field. And if they're on the field a long time, they're going to taper off a little bit um, early. So I'm going with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're going to get the high sacks. You're going to get the turnovers and they're going to have a pretty good special teams unit as well. So, well, Look, Pittsburgh, 
Philly, 10, 9. The state of Pennsylvania is off the board. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, PG, you get Hugh Stone. You get Houston uh, out there with those young fellas. They got a young squad. They just resigned. They just extended Jimmy Ward, if I'm not mistaken, yes. safety. Uh, they got Jalen Petra out there. They got a squad on defense. Yeah. Very excited about this Texans defense. I actually drafted the Texans defense in one of mine, and it's not just because, you know, there was no defenses left, but it was because it's still a D'Amico Ryans has a lot to do with this defense, regardless where they have a DC or anything like that. Like Breezy said, they do have a young core, but they're hungry. They are really hungry. They have a really good special teams unit. I just feel like that this defense is going to have a big year as far as scoring points. They got some monsters up front that are going to get at the quarterback. And I just feel a lot of sacks coming for this team. I feel like a lot of takeaways coming that secondary, just like we just mentioned. Jimmy Ward just got re-upped for one more year. So he's going to be out there having a monster season as well. As they say, Houston, we have a problem. I got number. Am I? What number am I? Seven? Was that? Is that eight? So number seven. I got the Kansas City Chiefs, and and I get it. This guy, Chris Jones, is gonna go out there and lead their defense. I had to. They're not top top because I think they lost their best player in free agency, and Legarius Sneed going to Tennessee. But I still think. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And any defense that got Spags up there, man, you got to beware, man, because he has no problem of saying that this stuff doesn't work. We're going to switch it up. And that's what they do. And that's what I like about Kansas City Chiefs defense. They'll be able to get the ball back. Uh, and we talked about special teams. We talked about them drafting a kid named Xavier Worthy with 4-2-4-4-2, four, 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 whatever, speed, fast, fastest 40 time. Possibly he'll be on special teams. He may return a couple of joints. So I got Kansas City Chiefs at seven. Kansas City Chiefs, I believe, at seven. Then at six, <laughs> Peachy gets to talk about the Cowboys. Also, one additional fact that was fun to me, Travis Kelsey may play some special teams as well this year. Well, then George Kittle, get your ass out there on special teams for the 49ers too. <laughs> Never Kelsey do, you can do better. So the Cowboys have a really good unit. They really do. Let me get my biases out of the way. The Dallas Cowboys defense is really good. That's why they are ranked where they are as far as the top defenses, at the top 10 defenses. They definitely are. Of course, they have Micah Parsons. And then in their secondary, they have all those ball hawking guys. Their special teams is also really excellent. I think Dallas is moving around some some pieces because what they were doing, I guess they weren't happy with it, so they switched some things. So I think that you're going to see some of those offensive players back there in special teams and trying to you know get that thing going. So I definitely feel like that. A lot of sacks are coming, of course. Like I said, you have Micah. He's one of the best in the game. So, therefore, not the best in the game. But he's but he's one of the best in the game. Looking forward to what the Cowboys have to bring as far as fantasy goes this season. They get healthy. They get their guy back on defense. Um, the Diggs brother, Trayvon, right? They get him back. Interception guy. They're going to get turnovers. Dallas is going to create turnovers. They got a great pass rush. They also, like Peachy said, added some key elements just recently to their pass rush. They just re they just signed Carl Lawson. They are going to look to do some damage on defense. Just don't start on week eight where they're going to get obliterated. I made up that word, all right? So week eight, they're gonna get they're gonna get messed up. Detroit Lions, Peachy. Detroit Lions at number five. Detroit Lions at number five. I picked Detroit Lions at five. I like their defense. It's young. It's ferocious. Uh, but they still, to me, have some weaknesses back in that secondary. And even though 
um they have those weaknesses they have a great uh, i think they have an elite pass rush which will help these younger guys they they, they i believe they lost uh emmanuel mosley i don't know if it was for the season or if he's out indefinitely i can't remember uh, but we'll see how their secondary fares out there for the detroit lions uh, but they're going to be a problem on defense and special teams uh and this is going to be one of the top uh, we have them at number five. This is going to be one of the top defenses, in my opinion, out there. You're going to want to make sure you pick them up uh, for sure. And we'll tell you at the end of our top one where you probably want to start drafting your defenses, all right? So I got the Detroit Lions there. And I think, Peachy, you have the number four defense in Cleveland. Talk about Cleveland. Ooh, first to go. And first of all, Breezy – just for some reason, you know, just didn't want to mention whether he just didn't or not that the freaking Lions defense is led by one of the best players in the NFL, Aiden Hutchison. The picture spoke for itself. I didn't <laughs> want to show my Michigan bias on this episode, even though you had no problem talking about your Ohio State guys. But I didn't I didn't want to do that. I, I was trying to stay away, trying to keep the episode, you know. So there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Miles Garrett in the Cleveland Brown defense, because that's how you refer to them, because he right. is their <laughs> defense. <laughs> they got a dope secondary, though. I yes. ain't going to stunt. Like, I like this team's <laughs> defense. Yeah. So, like Breezy said, their secondary is is dynamic and awesome. And Cleveland is, I tell you what, they they have done some really good things this offseason. Looking forward to watching this defense get out there and ball out. We know Miles Garrett is one of the top players in the National Football League. So him and his guys are definitely going to be getting at the quarterback often and all the time. So sacks are going to be great. Uh, the the, the uh, Browns special teams is also going to be really good this year. They are also doing some different things with their special teams as well. These new rules are kind of changing things on the special team so these teams are having to adjust to that to try to try some new things so i do agree that the cleveland browns defense is definitely a top defense this year yeah up front good luck trying to run on them uh and good luck trying to throw on them downfield you have to find a way to work the middle of the field against this team uh and they got a great linebacker and and, and Aqu- uh jeremiah um uh, they just signed him, right? So they're going to be a problem. I wouldn't be surprised if some people feel like Cleveland's the number one defense, but there are three defenses out here that we fear a little bit better, and I'll go with the number three defense and the New York Football Jets, led by head coach Robert Sala. Uh, listen, Sauce Gardner is the truth, but that's not where the buck stops. They have a ferocious pass rush. They have a great interior defense up front. They got hard-hitting linebackers. They're literally built like the San Francisco 49ers. And if you like that vicious, violent type of defense, the Jets are probably closest to what the Niners bring in the NFC and the AFC. So, if you hey, look, I know people are going, it's the New York Football Jets. Listen, Aaron Rodgers will be back. Expect their offense to be on the field a little bit more than the defense this year, where their defense played the majority of the game last year. It's going to be a little bit different. Aaron Rodgers will be able to extend drives, keep drives alive, have long drives give the defense a rest you'll really get to see how their defense tees off in 2024 i got the jets at three jets at three. Oh, so peach why you get to get to talk about all the good def- <laughs> all the all the <laughs> never mind go ahead number two san francisco 49ers peachy i don't even know what else can be said about this team we know that the 49ers are always going to be one of the top defenses in the national football league because of this guy, for one, right here that's on the screen, and Mr. Fred Warner, not to mention on that line with Mr. Nick Bosa, Hargrave, and it just goes on and on with this team. Good luck trying to get anything past these guys because it usually does not work out the way that you want it to unless you're Pat Mahomes. (laughs) But you definitely want the 49ers to be either one or two as far as the defenses go. So you definitely want to make sure that you get the the San Francisco 49ers because all year we are going to be scoring points, whether it's in the secondary, if it's the linebackers taking the ball, 
uh, special teams. We also may have are, are making adjustments on special teams again because of the rules. So there's a lot of things changing. And I'm just looking forward to this year for the 49ers because I think by the end of the year that 49ers might be the top defense in the National Football League. So I like that. Very well said. Um, uh, very, very well said. Very well said. Uh, here's why you draft the 49ers uh, one, two, or three. All right, we talked about why you should draft the 49ers one, two, or three, uh, and it's because they only gave up 28.9 points per game. And so if you want to know what the Niners do is they keep you from scoring. Uh, they keep the point totals low. That helps you out a lot on defense, whether you get the turnovers or not. So you talk about defensive scoring, you want to have – the least amount of points offensively and if you can get some turnovers it just boosts it up if you can score on special teams it boosts your defense up and so there's times where the Niners are going to score double digit defensive points just off of base of keeping teams from out of the end zone field goals is one thing keep them out of the end zone for touchdowns the lower the point total uh, that they play their opponent the more points that defense gets you know who's number one Dallas Interesting, right? That is interesting. <laughs> no. You know what, Peachy? Let me take that back. I'm I'm so wrong. It definitely wasn't Dallas. 49ers were three, and they only give up 17 and a half points per game. And number one, we haven't talked about yet. And number two was the Kansas City Chiefs. Dallas was top five. Interesting. So my bad. I was looking at offenses. My fault. So 49ers, number two. And speaking of number one, I get the good old Baltimore Ravens who lost their defensive coordinator. He is now the head coach of the Seattle Seahawks, if I'm not mistaken. But the Ravens didn't lose these guys, right? They didn't lose – they did lose Patrick Queen, but they still got Roquan Smith. And the, the, the Ravens' defense is going to be tough. They got a bunch of long, slinky dudes that could take the ball away. Uh, and so Ravens are going to be number one. I just talked about how they only allowed 16 and a half points – per game all season long again the lower the point total the higher the defensive score it should be ravens one i think kansas city you, you could shift around a little bit niners got to be two uh kansas city lost their best defensive back in my opinion so i think it might be a little bit different but the ravens are going to be a problem anything you want to say about the ravens defense as we move off of this the only thing that I would like to say about the Ravens defense is do not sleep on the fact that Mike McDonald is in Seattle now because their whole philosophy is still the same. All the Almost all of the other coaches are still there. I can't remember who the new defensive coordinator is, but a lot of their coaches that they had are still there. So they still have the same philosophy always to ball hawk. And I'm telling you, that secondary with Kyle Hamilton and those guys, they're still there. <laughs> so they're definitely, definitely deserve to be one. You interchange them with the 49ers if if you choose. But make sure that you, if you can get Baltimore and jump and get the first defense, New Baltimore or the 49ers. There you have it. So those are our top 10 defenses via uh, what's your fantasy? We got Baltimore 1, Niners 2, Jets 3, Browns 4, Lions 5, Cowboys 6, Chiefs 7, Texans 8, Steelers 9, Eagles 10. Let us know what you think of our top 10 defenses. Feel free to check out the other shows that we have going on. We got our quarterbacks. We got our tight ends. So check out any one of the top 10 shows. Feel free to leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning in to What's Your Fantasy. And we'll be back because we still got to talk about another position that everybody may be overlooking. Until then, keep it fantasy time. <laughs>